This is Antigua. Hey there, how's it going? Good afternoon. This is my room in Antigua at Dickinson Bay. That I have myself here. Great room, $160 US. They use the East Caribbean dollar here in Antigua and Barbuda, a autonomous island nation of uh, two main islands. Antigua is the uh, main one. 97% of the uh, population lives on Antigua and then Barbuda is uh, fairly close by. Good spot here, got uh, Wi-Fi, full kitchen. And so I'm going to uh, get out of here and walk right over to the uh, amazing, amazing beach. Leaving the uh, sandals, just uh, walking over there barefoot. Thought that I would show the classic Caribbean experience that you expect is the uh, hotel on the beach. So I uh, came here yesterday. I was in an Airbnb for five nights. It was in St. John's, the uh, capital and main town, in a like regular residential neighborhood, a uh, little one bedroom house that was decent. It did the job, but it wasn't, you know, really feeling like the uh, genuine. Caribbean experience that you expect. It was about uh, $76 per night for the Airbnb. So half the price, but uh, you get what you pay for. And uh, this is a whole other level of awesomeness here. And so I uh, decided to stay four more days, flying out in uh, three days back to the US. And uh, so having a more kind of luxurious experience here, although Really, 160 bucks is not bad for uh, what you get here. Really nice place. Hey there. When I was checking the various options on booking.com, then lots of places were way, way more expensive, especially the all-inclusives were hundreds and hundreds of dollars per night. So uh, I feel like this is a pretty good deal, especially when this is your front yard. Look at that. So I'm going to uh, walk this way, show more of the beach, and uh, talk a little bit more about uh, my experience on Antigua. This is the restaurant attached to the uh, hotel, or owned by the hotel, where I ate last night. Look at this, a little uh, remnant of the British presence here. Old uh, British telephone booth. Antigua was a British colony until it gained independence in 1981. Almost its uh, 40th year. Uh, anniversary coming up in like, I forget, September or uh, later in October or something, or maybe November, but anyways, this year. Antigua is a place of extreme contrast. The difference between this scene that you see, which probably in most videos about uh, Antigua, then this is mostly what you're going to see, and the regular neighborhoods, which I showed in another uh, video that I that I made of how the uh, local people live and the towns and, uh... Howdy, man. Thank you very much, thank you. Yeah. Recording a little video here. Right. Showing the awesome beach. 
a absolutely perfect day. There has been rain, but it only seems to rain at night or in the mornings. It rained really hard this morning around like 10 o'clock or so. But uh, in the whole time that I've been here, which is almost a week now, then it has never like rained me out in the uh, middle of the afternoon. So the weather has been uh, very cooperative. And so the uh, contrast between the scenes of the luxury resorts and where the tourists go and everything and the rest of the island is quite different as is often the case on Caribbean islands, it seems. I don't know why exactly more of the money that is being extracted here from, uh, you know, American tourists and everything isn't going more towards infrastructure. Lots of potholes in the uh, roads and uh, very, very basic homes. A uh, fair bit of garbage in a lot of places, some of the beaches. But uh, anyways, that is just the way it is. So you can see sandals. So that is maybe the uh, most expensive uh, hotel on the island. But uh, man, is this a sweet spot or what? And I will mention that uh, if you are thinking of coming here, then first you need a COVID test to enter, unless hopefully you're watching this video sometime in the future when this is no longer an issue, but uh, it is for now and will be for a while by the looks of it. So uh, in order to uh, arrive here and even to get on the flight, then you need a COVID test, negative results, of course. Vaccination by itself is not good enough. And so I just uh, got my test today again because you also need one going back to the United States to enter the U.S. because, of course, this is a separate country, unlike Puerto Rico and U.S. Virgin Islands, territories of the U.S., where if you go there, then I'm pretty sure you don't need to take a test to go back to the mainland U.S. from there, but from here you do. So you'll have to uh, plan that into your vacation for now. I was able to arrange it with the hotel. It cost 270 East Caribbean dollars, so around a hundred bucks. And that was the antigen test, and the antigen test is good enough. Or a PCR, but the antigen is the quick and easy one. It took literally like 10 minutes for them to get the, the results back to me. And uh, it has to be taken within three days before your flight. Today is Saturday. I am flying out on Tuesday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, there is your three days, and that does count. I double-checked the uh, website to make sure that that was going to do the uh, trick. It is not 72 hours, it is three days. And so any time in the three days before your flight is acceptable. So uh, Antigua here has 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. Maybe there's a, a quarter of a beach somewhere for the, you know, the last quarter of the day of the year. But uh, there are some really nice ones. I have just scratched the surface. I've been to maybe eight or nine beaches or something like that so far. And some were, you know, not remarkable. But uh, several of them were like, boom, like ultimate beaches. You really can't get any better than that, and that is just the beginning. I'll see what I manage to uh, explore in the next uh, two days that I have left. But uh, I've been trying to relax a little bit here and not be, you know, constantly filming and editing and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. One of the uh, just most ultimate places in the world right here, this kind of a uh, beach scene. And so I'm now going to uh, go in the water, take the camera, give you a little uh, idea of what the uh, water quality is like. So I need to 
toss that. Take off the hat, the keys, these sunglasses, and then lastly is I have to take uh, my wind protector device called a, a wind slayer off of here. I wanted to leave it on because I knew that it was windy out here. So taking this off and then actually you can see what it looks like. So that is what keeps it from getting uh, blasted by the uh, wind noise. All right, here we go into the Caribbean Sea. I believe it's the Caribbean or maybe it is the Atlantic. I'm actually not sure which uh, way we're facing. Let's see, there's the sun. So south is roughly like that. So I guess this would be the uh, Caribbean out this way. And then other side of the island is uh, facing the Atlantic Ocean. Not looking super clear here, but uh, the water is uh, really, really nice. Perfect temperature. Let's check it out. Nothing to see under there, but uh, uh, it feels really good. So there you go. A little taste of paradise. Let's see if I end up uh, filming some more. Can't guarantee it.